must have been mid-80s, the FAO asked me to do a study on uh, women farmers in India. And even I came in for a shock. You know, I've worked with women peasants, with Chipko, the movement, to come and I hug the trees. And yet the figures sh really shook me up too, that most farmers are women. But when we see advertisements, we see a man on a tractor. We see a man spraying pesticide on a field. So women have been made invisible in agriculture. But they are the heart and soul of agriculture. Agriculture, after all, is an area of specialization that women have had from the beginnings of agriculture. All archaeological records show that women were the first domesticators of crops. And uh, they carry this 10,000 year knowledge and skill of seed. They carry the knowledge and skill of nutrition. They carry with them the knowledge and skill of how in the worst of circumstances to be resilient, to make your ecosystems resilient, your own lives resilient, and your communities resilient. Um, so the first thing we have to do for women farmers is make visible their expertise and what they contribute. I think the second thing we need to do, in, and we need to recognize this, is if women aren't recognized and women aren't valued for the contributions they make to growing food and feeding people, you will see the violence against women intensify and accelerate. And as Pope Francis said, our biggest crisis is the acceptance of disposability of people, the globalization of indifference, as he called it. So we need to not just recognize women's contribution, but empower them and put them at the center because they are more efficient farmers. They are more knowledgeable. They are more hardworking. They get up early morning, sleep late at night. For them, nothing is too hard to do. And we need that to be the leadership that shapes a new paradigm of agriculture so no child goes hungry, no woman is brutalized.